Now I've grated the potatoes as quickly as I could. I still have all of my fingers. And I also rinsed the potatoes under the sink. And that's because as I was grating, it got really, really starchy and you'd want to wash out some of that starchiness. Now, next thing to do to get rid of the sogginess for later is really to push it down in a colander or a sieve like this. But I would normally do it over the sink. I'm just doing it over a glass container now to show you later how much water we managed to get out of the potatoes. You can use a clean dry towel or you can use kind of kitchen roll if you don't have a dry clean towel handy and just push, squeeze some of the liquid out. And by doing so, you're removing a lot of the moisture from the potato so if you're frying it later, if you're putting it in the oven, it will crisp up so much better than if you were just to leave it untreated, unprepared after you've grated it. So here I've already tried to squeeze out as much of the liquid as I could. And then the next step, really, is to add some salt. Just remember, if you're cooking this later, if you're adding a lot of salt now to draw out the moisture, then don't add more salt to your dish later. It's gonna kill you. So I just add some salt. Table salt is okay. Sea salt is great too. I mean, usually you can add a lot of salt in, but I'll just add a little bit, which would be enough to draw out even more of the moisture. Now you see it's already much better in terms of handling. So I would leave it here for about 10 minutes. We'll come back to it and we'll see how much more water has been drawn out of the potatoes. Now, I've pretty much eaten all of my potato skins, but let's take a look at the grated mm, potatoes. So you'll see that, look at this. Look how much water has come out in about 10 minutes. Give it one final squeeze. You can use a spoon, you can use a ladle. You don't have to use a clean kitchen towel nor do you have to use kitchen rolls. In fact, this is probably better. So squeeze out all of the liquid as much as you can. And there you have it. A lot of liquid that you'd want to remove from your hash brown, your potato rosties, if you're cooking in a frying pan, if you're pulling in the oven. It takes a little bit of prep time but do this and your food will be so much better.